Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this short video, we will talk about pap smear. What is pap smear? It is a screening test for detecting the pre-invasive diseases of cervix. In other words, pap smear is a test carried out on a sample of cells from the cervix to check for abnormalities that may be indicative of cervical cancer. How effective is pap smear? Pap smear reduces the risk of CA cervix by 75%, whereas vaccination reduces the risk by 70%. Sensitivity of pap smear is about 50%. Specificity of pap smear is about 86 to 100%. The false negative rate of pap smear is up to 26%. What instructions do we need to give to the patient before performing pap smear? First of all, ask about LMP. Ideally, the pap smear is done when the patient is not menstruating. Secondly, ask her to avoid few things prior to cervical smear like vaginal intercourse, douching, use of tampons and contraceptive cream about 24 to 40 hours before pap smear. Ask her about vulval and vaginal symptoms. The procedure of pap smear. I will introduce myself to the patient and take her introduction. I will explain the whole procedure and its indications to the patient. I will fulfill the prerequisites before performing pap smear. I will fill the laboratory requisition form in which I will write the patient detail, the LMP and all the essential requirements on that laboratory form. Then I will ask the patient to empty her bladder and lie in dorsal lithotomy position as you can see here. I will make sure that all the equipments are ready and the light source is present. Then I will label the slides with the patient first and last name. Then I will wear the gloves and clean the vulva with antiseptic solution like povidone iodine. I will introduce the Cusco speculum of appropriate size after lubricating it and fix it to visualize the cervix. I will insert the IR spatula. I will apply it on the transformation zone and rotate it in direction of at least 360 degree. Then the specimen is smeared on a glass slide. Then I will fix the specimen with fixation spray like 95% ethyl alcohol by holding it at 8 to 10 inches from the glass slide as you can see here. After preparing the slide, I will send the sample to laboratory. I will schedule the follow up with the report. The report may be normal or it may show atypical cells or low or high grade dyscariosis. And you can see all these things in my cervical screening guideline video of which you can find the link in the i button in the top right corner of this video. The question arises, what do pathologists examine on the pap smear? After staining the slide, the pathologist examine the pap smear slide for increased nuclear cytoplasmic ratio, mitotic figures and abnormal cells and they reported accordingly. When to take the cervical smear? In sexually active women of 24 to 49 years, the pap smear is done after every three years or if with HPV testing then after five years. In 50 to 65 years of age, it is done five yearly. When the age is more than 65 years, we do not take the pap smear if never taken or previous smear was abnormal, only then we do the pap smear when the age is more than 65 years. What are the common causes of errors in smear taking and processing? Those may include, first of all, the sampling error or the fixation error. Means um, the slide shouldn't be air dried. Thirdly, there might be error in transportation of this pap smear slide. There might be certain inter-observer error or intra-observer errors. So the results are not 100% accurate. 
थैंक यू सो मच दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट फैप्स मेयर सब्सक्राइब ऑन ऑप्शन गायनी अल्लाह हाफिज़